uh, Iceland is a world leader in geothermal power. Uh, can you speak a little bit about what you see as the potential for geothermal around the world? It is unfortunately a misleading uh, conception in many quarters that geothermal possibilities are only in a very few countries where in fact uh, the geothermal possibility can be found uh, all over the world because the heat which is inside the earth, with that heat is the basis of geothermal power, is in fact under every country, under every continent. So it's just a question of access and technologies, how it can be used and also for what purpose. Like here in uh, the Emirates, in the Middle East, you can drill for geothermal power and use it for the air conditioning. You might have difficulty in using it for producing electricity, but you can use it for air conditioning, for, for growing vegetables, for m many other purposes. We in Iceland are now engaged in such projects uh, in China, in the Philippines, in East Africa, in, uh, in Latin America, in other European countries. And different from many other forms of renewable energy, geothermal doesn't have to be subsidized. Geothermal is profitable enough in itself that it is actually a very good business proposition to move into the geothermal field. It's often the cheapest option of any energy source, so like four cents a kilowatt hour. No, absolutely, hour. and it's one of the reasons why, for example, my country, which had a, a banking crisis like many others in 2008, recovered so quickly after the financial crisis because of the geothermal investment in the previous decades. So the energy was very cheap, mm -hmm. cheap for the companies and, uh, and cheap for the homes.